All right, so I wanted to take the opportunity to actually give you a story on something that we've recently experienced and I've actually experienced multiple times with this particular manufacturer and it's one of the main reasons why we no longer offer this product and why you might want to think twice before moving forward with this particular brand. Now, it may come as no surprise, but Solar Edge probably has the worst customer support that we have seen in the solar industry from any manufacturer. Others are starting to um, provide poor customer support and it's, a lot, it's pushed us to also forego offering those products. Uh, that would include QCell and SMA America. So we are really focusing moving forward on the quality of the product and the customer support that we receive from the manufacturer when issues arise. Because those two things are really critical for us to provide our customers with a high-end service, a high-quality service at the end of the day. Well, the last thing we want is to be waiting six months to a year to receive a replacement or to have to make multiple trips out to a property, which is rather inconvenient for most homeowners. Now, before I get into this story, please be sure to subscribe to the channel by using the link down in the description below. Of course, if you or someone you know is interested in going solar and you'd like to get a quote, say on like the Canadian Solar EPQ, we have some great promotions going on and some great offerings to help you, you know, beat the utility companies and get rid of that rising utility bill. All right, so let's talk about this little story. So I went out on a service, this is a local customer, and their original installer had gone out of business. They have a solar edge inverter. It's not super old, it's about eight to 10 years old, and it does have a screen, but they didn't have any monitoring. Now, it may come as a surprise, but solar edge inverters do not have Wi-Fi built into them. They do, but not to use for the internet. So when we as an installer commission a solar edge inverter, we would have to scan a little QR code on the side of the inverter. This is on the newer models uh, that don't have a screen. And then you connect, the solar edge inverter will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal. And then you connect to it on your phone. And then you can commission the system. You can get it all up and running, tell it all the parameters. But for some reason, that same Wi-Fi can't be used to connect it to your home network so you can have monitoring. No, instead, you either have to have a crappy cellular modem installed or a secondary Wi-Fi Zigbee card uh, installed, both of which are pretty pricey. Now, for this particular customer, they had an existing cellular modem that was 3G and it had expired for the term that was purchased. So they had contacted SolarEdge support themselves because their installer had gone out of business and you know went through the process which according to the homeowner was quite the ordeal for them to get them to issue the replacement on the failed cell card and that's no surprise she's she was like whole times were over an hour in some cases she had gotten hung up on a couple times it sounded like she had a heck of a time trying to get a part that was under warranty for replacement so she eventually gets it handled and they mail it out to her, which it, they were pretty prompt on that to send her out the, the, the cell card. She said she got it in less than two weeks. So that's pretty good there. Now here's the kicker. So she contacts us to do the service, right? So I go out there. This should be a pretty quick service. We're opening up the inverter. We're replacing one cell card for a new cell card. We do have to replace the antenna, but it's relatively easy. So I open up the inverter. I pull out the old cell card, I disconnect the old antenna, I install the new antenna, wire that up through, install the new cell card, and put it all back together and turn it on. And the inverter says, no cell modem. And I'm like, well, that, that I just installed. So let's, let's give it a minute. Maybe it has to boot up. It's got to do its little signal thing. It's been a while since I had serviced a solar edge unit. And I remember like three or four years ago that they had changed their cell, cell phone provider to T-Mobile and they were having some weird issues with T-Mobile um, or had made some strange arrangements where it would only ping cell towers like once or twice a day. So to minimize the bandwidth. So I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's wait and see. But 
It should say cell card detected though. I should at least be able to see that and see, you know, that there's some information. Well, uh, that's not the case. So I call Solar Edge and the homeowner's like, oh man, you, you know, she knows I'm gonna be there for a while now. So I call Solar Edge and luckily I wasn't on hold too long as an installer. It was still quite a bit. I think I was on hold for about 20, 25 minutes before someone, I got to someone, I gave them the information of the site and they then put me back on hold for another five or 10 minutes. I came back on, asked me the same questions more or less. They wanted me to send them photos to show that I had properly installed it and to show that there's a little light on the cell card. Of course, I took those photos prior to you know contacting them. So I just sent them over those photos because you know I'm an idiot, I don't know what I'm doing. And yep, they put me back on hold. He reviewed the photos, comes back, and he goes, oh, it looks like we sent out the wrong cell card for this homeowner. <laughs> so the, and I have the phone on speaker. Man, was that, was she pissed off. She was not happy to hear that the manufacturer she gave them all the same information I provided and they sent her the wrong product for replacement. I mean, if I, I, I was frustrated, you know, but she was really frustrated because she had already spent a bunch of time with them. So they had said they'll replace it and they'll send out a new unit. It'll be another week or two for that replacement to get received. They're gonna mail it directly to her. Now, in the meantime, I did talk to the homeowner and talk about installing a Wi-Fi range extender. So what we've done on some of our older Solar Edge sites to avoid the cell card and to avoid the Zigbee, both of which cost over $1,000, is to install a range extender and then hardwire it via ethernet cable. That's come to be a very effective solution for the Solar Edge product because they don't have Wi-Fi built into their inverters. It's astonishing to have a manufacturer like SolarEdge that doesn't have Wi-Fi integration, just right out the gate. Enphase has it, Canadian Solar EP Cube has it, Tesla has it, SMA America has I mean, everybody in this space has had Wi-Fi integration for monitoring for at least, at least a minimum of five years. SolarEdge has made changes and upgraded their product and at no point have they adopted Wi-Fi. I remember them giving me some weird excuse that they had to file some stuff with the FCC to be able to use Wi-Fi to connect to the home network, but the inverter has Wi-Fi for you to connect to it on the phone so you can commission a system. It's just connecting it to the home network apparently requires some FCC approval that they don't have in the United States. Though, here's the kicker, those same inverters work in Europe and around the world and connect directly to Wi-Fi without any extra component costs. So it, it, it's mind boggling that this manufacturer provides really poor customer support and doesn't stay technologically advanced. I mean, Wi-Fi should be standard in these units and make it easy for the customer. I mean, they really should. It shouldn't be that you always have to call someone to do something small like that. If you have Wi-Fi smart switches in your home or Philips Hue light bulbs, you're not going to call your your electrician that in, that screwed the light bulb in to change the Wi-Fi. You're going to know how to do it yourself. And if you have complications, you're going to reach out to the manufacturer or find a chat form. These manufacturers don't seem to want to provide that kind of support or at least service. I'm, now I'm really pointing on Solar Edge, but SMA America man, have they gone downhill. We used to install quite a few of those SMA America string inverters for customers that really wanted to be budget focused and didn't care about all the bells and whistles. But their support is really poor and the monitoring has kind of gotten a bit janky um, over the last couple of years or two. Now, it's nice to see products like the Canadian Solar EP Cube where they're taking it up a notch. They include Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in their smart gateway and the inverter for monitoring and communication. So the, within your app with the Canadian Solar EP Cube unit, you as the homeowner and owner of the site can actually go in, connect directly to your gateway and change your Wi-Fi via Bluetooth. And it's really easy whether I'm doing it or you're doing it on your own. I mean, it's it's phenomenal to see something like that. Enphase, it's trash. It doesn't work for the customer 
at all. And I don't know if they just don't realize it or they don't care, but like they have all these step-by-step -step guides on how to connect your Envoy to the Wi-Fi and it doesn't work. It literally doesn't work. I've tried it with three different sites uh, on three different Envoys and, and no, in none of them was I able to successfully go through the process and get the homeowner to be able to connect it themselves. Instead, we had to use our installer toolkit app to connect to the Envoy and then connect it to the homeowner's Wi-Fi. It's, it's, it's just stupid. I mean, it really is. It should be really easy to change your Wi-Fi network for your solar system. It really should be, like I said, Canadian Solar EPQ, theirs is simple. Tesla's a little tricky with theirs. It can be easy, but I have heard of quite a few cases where technicians needed to go out and reset the system because it would get hung up on something. I don't know if that was an older software. I haven't heard of too many issues presently with that, but it's just astonishing. And I really feel more homeowners need to spend the time talking to the manufacturer. I think what we all need to do is call. If you get a quote from a, from a installer, like if you got a quote from us, we're gonna give you, here's your Enphase storage only solution, Enphase backup, uh, Tesla Powerwall Plus backup, and then your Canadian Solar EP Cube backup. And we're doing it in the order of good, better, and best. So the EP Cube would be classified as the best, Powerwall Plus would be better than the Enphase. So we're starting Enphase off as good, and we're really looking at the, the overall rating of the battery and longevity. So our, our scale there is a little different. If, if you're interested in a video on that, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be going in more details. But basically, if you had that proposal from us, we would recommend that you call each manufacturer and see what the hold time is for you in a worst case scenario that you needed to make a claim on your own whether it was because we were too busy or we had gone out of business. You never know with your installer. Now, some of us have definitely been in business a lot longer than others and are more financially stable because we're conscious of those types of expansions. You know, we've been in the industry for over 15 years and we're well capitalized. We really take pride in providing our customers with as best pricing as we can while being able to maintain a steady cash flow so we can stay in business and honor our 25 year warranty that is matched with the manufacturer. So we like to match manufacturer warranties because we're going to offer you the highest quality products at the end of the day at the best price. Again, you can request a quote if you live in our area. If you don't, hey, we have partnerships with these manufacturers. We'll help you find someone else to install your system in your area. But I think it's a good idea moving forward in this space for homeowners to take that little extra step and reach out and see, hey, I was on the hold for EPQ for five minutes. Oh, I called Enphase, I was on hold for seven minutes. Oh, I called Solar Edge, I was on hold for two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go with that product. you know. Or hey, I tried calling SMA America, never even got a hold of anybody. Not gonna go on that product. And I wouldn't say just call once, call at different interval times. So some manufacturers are easier to get a hold of first thing in the morning, and others are, if you miss that eight to 10 a.m. window, good luck, You'll, you may never get a hold of them. That's SMA, for example. Uh, some of them are open 24 seven, like the EP Cube. Others, they're only Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard or Eastern Standard or Central or Mountain Time. You know, you really don't know what the time schedule is. So maybe you're, you're trying to call them and it's 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and they had closed at five on Eastern Coast. So that you, know, that you have to wait till the next day. And then it's like, okay, well, I can't call them in the morning because they're not open, I gotta go to work. And here you are on Saturday and it's like, oh, well, they're not open. So, you know, those are things you should take into account. They're worst case scenarios. Ultimately, you know, your installer should be taking care of it, though not all installers really do their due diligence with the servicing. That's one area that we really pride ourselves on is that we wanna take care of you for those 25 years and we're, we're gonna do it, you know, whether it's remotely or going out to site and it doesn't cost you anything. So that's it. That was my story, a little bit of feedback on it and why we've completely decided to just nick Solar Edge and why so much of the industry actually has. You'll find that a lot of companies in California do not offer Solar Edge. Now, if you're in Texas or Florida or in any other state, maybe there's still some guys that offer Solar Edge and swear by them. But in my personal experience with them on multiple occasions, as well as customers that we've serviced that we didn't sell them the system, 
their personal experience has always been very poor. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.